Hi, this is Crisbel and today I want to show you a video of a SCADA demo project that I have been working on. Enjoy! The iPad solution shows two pump stations, pump station 1 and pump station 2. You can use the arrows in the top bar to navigate to each of them. Here we are using a tag simulator to show values for the different components. If you tap over the component, you can see the tag path of each of them. In the top bar, we have different icons to navigate to different options. We have one for the alarm list to show live alarms in the system. There's one for the alarm journal to show history of alarms. And there's also one for a trend tool where you can see history of tags. In this case, we are showing history of tank one and tanks two. And you, we can use different time options. If you use the help for the demo, you can hide the spark line and you can simulate an alarm in motor two. When you Tap over the motor symbol, a faceplate will open showing you the current process value and the settings where you can change the alarm set points. In the home section, you can see the process value and there is also an option to navigate to a map in the top bar. So in the map, you can see two markers, one for each of the pump stations, and they both will show the names of each one. This is how the solution looks in a desktop. Now I want to explain the different sections in the screen. So uh, first we have the top bar section. This is used for navigation. And the view is divided in three different sections. The first one is the global navigation, this part here. And if you hover over different uh, icons, you can see the description of each of the functionalities. So using the arrows, you can um, navigate to different pump stations. In this case, we only have two. And if you use the map icon, you can navigate to the map uh, view. In the map, you can see two markers and they both show the name of the pump station they belong to. You can also zoom in and you can zoom out in the map. And if you click here, then we can navigate to the local overview. And this section here in the middle is used for local uh, options. So, for example, when we use the local alarm list or the local alarm journal or the trend tool, we can see the information related to the pump station we have now in the um, screen. So, now we can resize the view if we want and you can see now that we have uh, only alarms of the pump station one because uh, we want to see only the alarms of the local plant. And for example, with the power chart, the trend tool, we can see only the tank two, the tank one and tank two of the pump station one. And the right section of the top bar is used for global functions. So when you open here the global alarm list, the global alarm journal or the global trend tool, you can see here now all the alarm in the system. And for the global power chart, the trend tool, it's now empty and it's ready for you to drag and drop tags from the different providers here. The middle section of the screen is used to show the pump station. 
Here we have a small pump station for a demo purposes, which contains two tanks, two motors and one valve. The tank um, is showing the liquid level and also the analog indicator. So here we can see the desired level, the low, the high and the limits. And the spark line is using to show real-time data from the last uh, 30 minutes of each of the tanks. As you can see, all the processes values are in bold blue, so we are sure which one is a process value and which one is a engineering unit or a description, for example. Also, the component states are shown in colors. So a green is an active and a gray is an active. The bottom section is used as a help for this demo, but it can be used for different uh, purposes like navigation or showing important information. So in this case, if you toggled uh, here this button, you can hide the spark line. And if you mark this checkbox, you can turn an alarm in the motor too. So this is how an alarm looks like when it's active on a component. For the purpose of this demo, I made a small faceplate of the motor. When you open the faceplate motor, you can see the, it has uh, a main section with the description uh, of the motor. And then we have two sections here. So the home section is the status and it shows the current process value also in bold blue and the engineering units also the states. And the settings is used to um, change the alarm set point or the alarm limits. So here we can just change it, apply the changes, and then uh, and now every time the value goes over 60, then an alarm will appear here in the motor. 